morning everybody it's actually about noon already spent the morning uh, tarping a load with one of my co-workers here so I've got this wonderful empty step deck 53 foot tandem behind me here now all the lights are working that's wonderful I'm gonna pull this trailer down to Minnesota and it's starting to snow a little bit so it might be a bit of an interesting drive there's a loaded trailer down there waiting for me so I'm gonna bring them this empty and pick up my loaded it's just a trip there and back It'll probably take about five and a half hours six hours round trip depending on how this weather treats me there's compressed air and all the tires fantastic it's my favorite trailers trailers with properly working tires always slows you down when they when they're flat you know and it doesn't matter if just the bottom is flat still can't drive them like that <laughs> all right we're gonna stay warm inside our cab today though take a bit of a trip down south and off we go down the 59 highway. We can cross through from Tolstoy, Manitoba into Lancaster, Minnesota. That border crossing you can only cross when you're empty. So we got an empty flatbed. Doesn't get more empty than that. Well, it's not a flat, it's a step. You know what I mean though, empty step. It saves us about a half an hour. Whereas when we're loaded on the way back, we gotta come back through Emerson, Manitoba from Pembina, North Dakota. So half hour longer to go that way, but when you're loaded, that's the way they want it done. That's the way they get it done. We left at 12.30. Karen over here is telling me that it's about 200 kilometers, 120 miles. We could expect to be there in probably just over two hours. 12.30, 1.30, 30. We'll be there between 2.30 and 3. Hopefully I can be out of there by 3.30. Then it'll be two and a half hours or three hours back. I have to fuel on the way back so that we have full tanks for the weekend. So my take with three hours, my 3.30, 4.30, 5.30, 6.30, we'll be getting back to the yard. And in my pickup driving away before seven, that's my guesstimate. Bit of a longer day today, but you gotta do what you gotta do. Stuff needs to get done. Come on, turn green. Come on, you're not gonna actually make me stop, are you? Oh, almost, almost, that's a tease. Make me almost stop. I'm glad they put lights there though. Rolling into the big metropolitan area of St. Pierre Jolie. Don't forget the Jolie. I always do. Cop shop there right on the right. Smile and wave. Or is that suspicious? Maybe just don't do anything. I don't know. I don't know what to do. Just drive on past. Oh, they got a subway in town now. I forgot about that. Stop this. No, I got a lunch. I have a lunch. I don't need to buy a lunch. <laughs> I am going to stop at their little convenience store here and... Uh, I'm feeling snacky. I've been so good the last couple of months not snacking too much. I obviously uh, still snack a little bit too much, but that's Christmas. What? Feeling snacky. I'm gonna go get a snack. Here it is. It's right here. I have to take this a little bit wide. The Date Penner. It's a French town. So they call their convenience stores Date Penner. That's French for convenience store.
deserve a treat. Right? Right? I'm going to get a treat. Yeah. All right. All right. Let's settle in for a nice ride south. Oh, oh so I got my phone in there. I always forget my phone in my jacket. Oh, hit, oh. Okay. Ah. Not much room. <laughs> I got some ketchup chips because I'm going to America. Canadians get it. You can't get ketchup chips in the US. Do you know that? They don't sell ketchup chips in the United States. That is a crime. So I'm taking mine with me. I can't believe you guys, you guys don't sell those. I'm so disappointed. And no, they don't taste like ketchup, which is weird, right? Mm. All right, off we go. Now that we're all comfortable and ready for the ride, nobody's coming, okay. town here though. Very old town. It's French town. I always say like you don't hear much French spoken in Manitoba French communities but they speak French at home to each other and amongst each other here so I actually heard someone speaking French in the gas station there or in the store. So they do still speak it but in general you walk in there maybe I have like a big E tattooed on my forehead or something for English because they don't even try speaking French to me they just look at me and say oh hey how's it going they just assume I don't speak French <laughs> that's how it is in Manitoba that's why I don't really notice the French speakers that much because usually they're pretty polite and if if they know you don't speak French they won't try to speak French to you they'll just speak English or if they if they're unsure if you do or don't They'll just go with English as a default. They're pretty polite. Eh? If you go to Quebec, though, they'll just, everybody there will just start speaking French to you. <laughs> That's just the way it is. Nice little run down to the States. Nice little hello. Hi and bye. Got the load behind me here. Just gotta bring it to our yard and drop it in the middle of the yard. Karen, be quiet. Been yelling at me all day again. I just gotta drop it in the middle of the yard. They'll unload it Monday. Or maybe tomorrow. Actually, yeah, we got people there tomorrow. Maybe they'll unload, I don't know. That's their problem once it's there. <laughs> I just gotta put it where they can get it. And that's my job. I'll take the straps off so it's ready to be unloaded. Load my stuff up into the pickup and head on home. Britt got home today, so it'll be nice. You learn pretty quickly how much uh, your spouse does around the house when they're gone, just even for a single day. Or how lonely it is to be alone at home. You know, it's, it's not a home when you're not all there together. That means that the Franks will still be, well, uh, the Franks will be there again. So we'll all be back together, one big pack again. The pack is whole again. Ding dong to you, Karen. Stop swearing at me. I'm doing my best. We got some purple lights here. Isn't that supposed to be some kind of government conspiracy? The lights are turning purple. <laughs> They all came from that place in Ohio, right? They made these faulty LED street lights. Now they're turning purple all over the place. Approaching destination 500 meters on the right side. 
I've got all my stuff packed up here. I'm ready to go. Oh, got to leave this mount. I have different mounts for different vehicles so that I don't ever forget my mounts and I'm not left without a mount. That makes it a whole lot harder. I love this GoPro Hero 10 though. So you can see yourself. <laughs> there you are. Right there. That's funny. So yeah, that's what you look like on my head when... Uh, when you're up there. <laughs> I don't know, I'm tired. It's time to go home. Time to go home, says I. Let's turn that light off. Turn that light. Oh, wait, wait. Yeah, yeah, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Okay. Oh, I gotta take the garbage. All right. So there was an incident on the way back. It stinks. Uh,. I may or may not have encountered a family of skunks sitting right on the highway in the dark. Just a whole bunch of them, just hanging out. I don't know what they were doing. Now, my truck may or may not have gotten in a fight with them as we were passing by. And now my truck may or may not stink. Especially around that area there. <laughs> Whoo! <laughs> oh yeah. People are gonna notice that. They're gonna notice that. <laughs> oh, what can you do? The skunks lost, if you're wondering. They lost the fight. Where's my keys? Where's my keys? I thought I just had them. Ah, here they are. Here they are. Here. Open, says me. Ha ha! Ha ha ha! I'm back. This one smells a lot better. Don't you go getting in any fights with any skunks on the way home either, okay? I've had enough skunks for one day. There was at least four of them. Challenged me. I had to show him who was boss, obviously. There we go. Uh, yeah, they're just all hanging out in the middle of the road. I don't know, having a party. Having a little tea party in a circle or something. Middle of the lane. I don't know. Oh, it stinks. Reeks. Okay. Oh yeah, I wanna show you this. This is where I have my block heater cord. This keeps my engine oil warm. And I don't like idling my truck with it plugged in. But uh, yeah, instead of having it run out by the headlight over here, my father-in-law actually gave me this tip. He works at GM. I said, run it up here. That way it doesn't ever interfere or the, the cord doesn't get pinned between here, uh, between your hood. And it also doesn't like swing back and forth and scratch your paint and damage your headlight and stuff. It just sits right up here. I take this cord. Now we plug in this one. This one's down here. Oh, there we go. Usually these semis have it on the side under by the driver door there. What's going on? Oh, my pocket's having a party now. It's bedtime, eight o'clock. I got an alarm for bedtime during the week. If this was a weekday and not Friday, it'd be my bedtime right now. But it's Friday. <laughs> Friday. See, he's got his block heater cord coming out the side here. Yeah, Not that it matters. She's plugged in, all tucked in for the for the weekend. Oh, slippery! Watch out. Okay. Oh, it stinks. You stink, man. Man, that's bad. Oh. oh. whole bunch of them. I think there's at least four of them that uh, had a confrontation with my drive tires. At least four of them. So oh, the whole trailer that I was pulling to, the guy's unloading it tomorrow. <laughs> I'm sorry guys, that trailer stinks. 
Ugh. So glad it's not my pickup and I don't have to take that smell home with me today. Hopefully by Monday morning it'll be like, uh, what do you call it? Uh, gone. And smelling like normal. That was a very smelly incident, unfortunately. Truck just stank, so did the trailer. I'm filming this end in the future already. It's Monday when I'm filming this. And uh, the guys who unloaded the truck, I guess they parked the trailer in the back. And our guy who checks the trailers in the morning on Monday, <laughs> he, was, he thought there was a skunk in the yard. <laughs> Because he was checking the trailer and he smelt the skunk and he didn't want the skunk to spray him. So he was like looking around where the skunk was. He couldn't find the skunk. <laughs> ah, well, ah, it happens every now and then. That's actually the first time that's ever happened to me in my entire life. Yeah. I guess this has to happen to everybody eventually. But yeah, they, uh, they stink. I don't know. Do skunks live where you guys live? I'm not too sure where you're from. Here in uh, North America, oh, skunks are everywhere. And for some reason, they're really attracted to uh, highways and the tire tracks on the highways, even when they're cold. I don't know why. Maybe they just think it's a pathway. And they're like, oh, look, let's see where this goes. And they just waddle down the road. And uh, if you actually confront them, they're actually quite aggressive. There was a gang of skunks. If you remember my vlog, uh, was it two years ago already? A year or two ago? I was in Ontario, in London, Ontario, and I was walking through the truck stop at the Flying J. And a gang of skunks chased me back into my truck. There's a whole bunch of them. They're aggressive. Like, I didn't do nothing to them. I was just doing my own thing. I was walking in to have a shower. On my way back to the truck from having a shower, the skunks just, like, they surrounded me. And they, they, they were walking towards me, like, ominously. Just, you know, making eye contact. Straight, just looking at me. Just walking straight at me. They weren't running, but they wouldn't stop either. I stopped and I, I tried to, like scare them off and get them to go the other way. No, steady there, just making eye contact, staring straight at me like this. Just walking towards me, nice steady pace. And they followed me right to my truck and then they went under my truck. So I, I didn't want to leave the truck. I thought they were going to spray me if I... I don't like them. I don't like them. Anyways, thanks for watching today. <laughs> it's a nice little trip down there besides that. But, uh... It is what it is. We'll see you tomorrow. Don't forget to hit the like button if you like the video. And subscribe if you haven't already. Welcome to all the new people. Uh, appreciate you checking out the channel. If you want to know more about me, down below in the description. There's a whole bunch of stuff there for you. And links to my social media. See you later.